Hello. Hi, Reba. Looks like you might be the first one on, or at least the first one to chime in. So it looks like there's a few more of you on there. So go ahead and in the chat, let me know where you're from. So Reba is from Alabama, and I'm sure it's warmer there than it is here. Oh, wait a second. Let's see. I got some feedback here going. I forgot to turn off my sound on my computer. There we go. That's better. And Sheila's from Sanford, Maine, right up the right up the road. Oh, let me back up because it's really too much sharing. Too close. Um, so lots of news this week. We we found out we're getting rid of some colors from our core collection. We are getting new colors. We're bringing back some old colors, retiring, um, retired, quote unquote, retired um, in colors. And let's see, oh yeah, we're getting new in colors. That's fun. And those of us who are demonstrators got a sneak peek, not even a sneak peek, we can see the whole thing, of the new catalog that's gonna go live in May. And I don't know about the rest of you, maybe Sheila and Reba can chime in if they've viewed it. Do I know? Um, at least Sheila has, because Sheila and I work together, so we talked about it a little bit. But um, let me know what you think. I, for one, thought there was a great variety in there. So lots of different, different things. Um, and then some things that are coming back that I was so happy about because... Let me see, this, this catalog right here wasn't around very long and some of it was during celebration, so I didn't get enough time with this. So I'm really excited um, about some of those things that are returning. Uh, some of them are fantastic, so um, that's probably why they're returning, right? And Deb is here from Dover, welcome, welcome. So tonight, oh wait, look, see that right there, that empty cubby? It used to be as full as that one. Those are all the stamp sets that I lost to retirement because once a stamp set goes away for me, um, once it's not orderable by my customers, I don't, I don't show it because that's just cruel, showing something that people can't get. So uh, I take it out of the rotation and I'll do something with it later. I'll do my BOGO event or something a little bit later in the summer, but so there's lots of room right there for some more. I can't wait. I have not changed over my colors yet though. So I still have to do that, but uh, one thing at a time. Anyway, so I'm gonna turn you down so we can get started. Hold on just a second. All right, let me see if I can position this pretty well. That looks pretty good. All right, so. Tonight, we're going to do this card right here. And um, it's a very soft and pretty card. Soft succulent is a color that is retiring. In fact, we're gonna use the blends tonight. And unfortunately, because this is how it goes sometimes, the blends, I had this card and then I noticed that the blends disappeared. Because in colors go quickly right now. So if there's something you like, you have got to get it right away. So I apologize, but you can use another green. The, the technique I'm gonna show you, basically you just have to have the same color as your card base. Pale Papaya is also going bye-bye. And let's see, I wrote down a few things about, um, let's see, Pale Papaya is on, the ink pad is on low inventory. Um, but honestly, if you don't have the pad by now, you probably don't care that it's on low inventory. Um, the Wink of Stella is not going away, but it is currently out, uh, but it will be coming back at some point um, because it's awesome. It is one of the best little things in the catalog. But let's show you um, how to make this card. So I'm going to bring in my framed florets stamp set. Now I did a... Um, I did a class, um, I guess it was a stamp camp, with this particular set. I'm trying to find the samples that I had with it. I, I set them aside for a purpose. And then of course, setting aside usually means I lose it. That's what happens when you clean. I cleaned this up earlier. 
now I can't find some things. But I will show them to you if I can find them in the midst of demonstrating this card. So this is the framed florette set. It is a really great set and it is going away. I'm going to show you framed florets. Where is it? I'm going to put this in the catalog. Open the catalog here. Framed florets. If you remember, this one was one that you could buy early. So it's on page 65. So it is this set right here. And the stamps are nice. I, I do like the sayings a lot. I think there's some really great sayings and I like the mixed font. But the dies are on sale for 60% off. That is a huge sale. And what I love about the dies is they just have these ovals. So if you just got them for the frames and the ovals, that would be incredible. An incredible addition, especially at 60% off. So 60% off means you're paying 40%. So about $15, probably something like that. I'm just doing quick math. And this die and this die and these two dies will stand alone. They don't need an image to cut out. And then these two as well. And we're going to use this heart one tonight. This one that puts little hearts around it. Um, but just nice capturing ovals, sentiments in ovals is, is um, it's a nice option to have because we don't really have a lot of oval stuff otherwise. So I've already mounted my stamp. I'm going to bring in a piece of thick basic white. Now you don't have to use thick here. I actually like the thick because I think it just stands up a little bit better. Um, we'll certainly stand up in the mail a little bit better. I've got them popped up on dimensionals. All right, sorry, we had to take a drink. My throat is extremely dry. So now I need my Memento Black ink because I'm going to be stamping with blends or coloring with blends. I'm just going to stamp that right here. Really nice, simple image. And depending on what you color this in, this kind of came out around Christmas time. And we made, oh, look, I found them. We made some nice Christmas cards. Let me show you the cards that we made in our stamp camp. And we also made a couple of, of other things, a treat holder and a little booklet, a notebook. Um, but I don't have those handy. So we have this one that used the oval because um, one of the dies cuts out an oval as well as the ring that goes around it. We've got the gold foil framing it. And then there was this one, and this is one of the dies. Just looks so pretty. Can't get this paper anymore. That was a limited edition thing. Here we have, I love this oval, and I love it in conjunction with the hearts. Just really simple. And this came from designer series paper, but you could certainly put this one on it as well. And we did this one, and this was the watercolor wash. And also I stamped and die cut a couple of elements there. And then this was just a simple, simple stamping one. So lots of variety with this stamp set, I think. I am really surprised that it's going, to be honest. But sometimes things go because they were such big sellers. Um, and Stampin' Up! thinks that, you know, everybody's got them. So if you've looked at the retiring list, one of the things that's going is the stitched rectangle dies and the layering circles. Oh my. I was just going to get those too, but and I still might. I don't know. I'm going to bring in my Pale Papaya Blends right now. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see which way do I wanna color these. I'm gonna color them opposite this time. I'm gonna color this one. So this is the light. I'm just gonna, remember, use the side of your blends so as to keep it in good working order. I'm gonna bring in the dark here and just go ahead and add a little bit in here. 
and maybe around in these little spots where it looks like Stampin' Up! has told you things should be darker there. That's what those little lines mean. All right. And then I'm going to bring in my Calypso Coral. I'm supposed to have, oh, there's the other one. I'm going to bring in my Calypso Coral and do the same thing on the other one. Oh, I used the bullet tip on this one. That's all right. Not a very big image. I can color it this way. Now I can keep the center of these flowers white or I can add a little bit of color and then take some away because I don't want it as dark as the pale papaya, but I do want it to have that kind of color. All right, let's take the darker one. Anybody got big plans for the weekend? I'm supposed to have a work day at the church I work at tomorrow. Well, it's turned into a work morning. All right. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. And then I'm going to blend this out. Blend, blend, blend. And the more you layer, the better the blending because it's it's more wet so things will blend a little bit better and you can kind of keep some lighter spots in your in your flowers where the light's kind of hitting it all right there's that i'm going to go back in i'm going to i'm going to take the light pale papaya that's pretty light you know what that's the Sometimes one end is a little bit darker than the other. I'm not exactly sure because I do store them horizontally. All right, now I don't know if you can see, but this center looks like it's the same color as the whole flower. Oh, Deb, you're going to be crafting with Joyce? So have fun. I'm going to bring in my color lifter and just take a little bit of that out. Now, right now it looks a little gray because it's so wet, but that will dry and look really nice. Now I'm going to bring in some Granny Apple Green, and this is the light. These pieces are pretty small, so I'm going to go ahead and use the fine tip. Just color these in. I've got to go to the post office and get a few people's class kits out from Tuesday. Usually I don't mail out until the following Monday or Tuesday, but because they're Easter treats, um, the boxes that hold the treats anyways, I wanted to get them out as soon as possible so you had time to put them together. It doesn't take long to put them together because let's face it, I've done all the die cutting, so I can still hear my myself on my computer. I didn't turn it all the way off, I don't think. That's all right. Here we go. So now if I die cut, you see that I'm going to get this white in here. And see how it's disappeared here? It's almost like I stamped this on soft succulent cardstock, but I didn't. What I did was I came in here and I just colored all the white spaces. And it doesn't take too long. This isn't a huge piece, but I think the look is worth it. So I got this idea and actually this color combination from a fellow demonstrator in the UK, Martin, Martin's Mayhem is his channel. I was watching another uh, video tonight, not his, somebody from New Zealand, I can't remember who it was, um, but I tuned in and I saw, oh, she's from New Zealand. So I was all excited because it's gonna have a, you know, an awesome accent, right? No, as an American as it can get. So she must be a transplant down there. I was hoping for a nice 
Kiwi accent. I'm sure nobody is turning in, tuning into my channel to hear a Maine accent. Of course, it could be a worse Maine accent than it is. Uh, yeah, don't you know? I wouldn't have to say my eyes. I usually don't think I have much of an accent, but sometimes I catch myself leaving the endings off, the ER endings off. I think it's because my husband has a much stronger main accent. He was rubbing off on me, which after, you know, 27 years of marriage, you could probably expect. All right, so I'm almost done here. So see, now it looks like it's on soft succulent cardstock. We're gonna go ahead and bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'm gonna bring in plate number one, plate number two, a really, really beat up plate number three. I cut so many cracker treat boxes out. It's ridiculous how many I cut out. I say it's ridiculous. There's a commercial that comes on around here and the guy's always saying, it's ridiculous. I hate that commercial. And yet I'm saying it. But it comes on all the time. All right, I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and just run this through. But even if it's not perfect, it's not like I'm going to have a lot of white showing because I've already colored it. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm not done with my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Just gently take it off. I don't want to tear the paper. And there we have that. So pretty. Thank you, Martin. That was such a nice, nice card that I saw that you came up with. His was, did this all over the card. So he's, he stamped and die cut and colored a lot. I'm like, I can't do that on a live. So now I'm going to bring in a piece of soft succulent cardstock. And I'm going to put my heart oval on there and run that through. And look, you've got all sorts of hearts if you want to add some confetti. I don't even know if you can see them because this plate is so chewed up. Now, rather than just use this the way it is, I thought, because it does look a little bit plain, I'll show you as soon as I get this off. All right, so we've, we've got the, the hearts and that's lovely, but let's compare. You see the texture in this one? It just makes it that much nicer looking. Let me see, I'm gonna wait for my camera to check, to catch up. Yeah, it's hard for to see on camera, but the texture is so nice. Now you can use any embossing plate, but I would use, I mean, embossing folder, but I would use one that's fairly subtle. So you could use the painted one. I'm using this crosshatch one from the Basics 3D embossing folders, which are not currently orderable, but will be back. These are fantastic, by the way. I use them a lot. So I'm going to run this through. So for those of you who are thinking, oh man, I was going to get that. Well, you still can, just not right now. But see, that's, 
that feeling that you're having right now, like, oh, I like it, I can't order it. That's a real bummer. That's why I don't demonstrate stamp sets that are um, not orderable. All right, so here we have this. And we'll pop that off to give it a little bit of a lift and separate that and give it a little bit more definition. We will need a sentiment. So I'm going to bring in this little piece right here. Bring in my embossing toolkit. I was hoping that in the new catalog they would have the embossing powders separated again because I use white way more than any other. But they don't, they have all the basics together. So I'm just gonna have to start using some techniques that use the other colors, clear and black. All right, so I'm gonna take, I have already mounted the stamp here. And this says, just a little reminder that you are loved. And the measurements will be on my website. that was crooked but yeah it is I'm gonna do it again see if I get it straighter I'm gonna stand up all right that's better so I think I'm gonna need my little tweezers my little reverse tweezers you know, the first time I tried to use reverse tweezers, I did not have a clue. My cock on these don't open. Because you have to squeeze it to open it, which is so backwards. But that's what you have to do on, on these kind of tweezers. All right. That looks good. All right. I'm going to funnel this back in at a later date so you don't have to watch me do that. Let's bring in my heat tool. Hi, Suzanne. Happy Friday to you, too. Hey, Suzanne, I'm going to be going to Sanford tomorrow. I'm going to deliver your, your class kit and um, that order that had, that had come um, along with one of mine. So we can connect later by text or something on when would be good for you. All right, see that come right alive. All right, so now we're going to bring this in and let's see where we want to position this. You don't want it too low because you want this sort of center. So this is actually really good right here where I've got it. So I'm going to bring in my seal. That looks good. And then remember I said I was going to pop these up on dimensionals. Oh, by the way, if you like my um, my um, galaxy themed band aids, as to remind me, um, this this tin. If you think this is a cool looking tin, you're gonna think one of the new sets and papers is cool too. I can't show it to you. We're not allowed to do that. I can show you the cover, but I can't because I don't have it yet. Um, but, uh, it's, uh, you know what? I think I put this a little bit too high. I need to move it down. I need to move it down just a little bit. Okay. I think that's better. Yeah. Just like that. Now I'm going to bring in a little bit of linen thread. Love linen thread. It goes so far and just adds the right touch, I think. And it's super easy to tie bows with. Yeah, that's good. 
And get my scissors, and we'll trim that. And then we'll just get a glue dot. And what I like to do is roll the glue dot up a little bit because my twine is very thin. So I don't want a bunch of glue dot all showing in my project. I just put it behind the knot there. And just kind of arrange this. So there we go. It'll lay down and once we get it in the envelope for sure. We're almost done. What we need to do now is make those hearts really shine through. So I just cut this a quarter of an inch smaller than this piece right here. And we're going to, and you can use glue, you can use the seal, you could use dimensionals. You just want to make sure that it's hidden behind here. So it doesn't matter if it's, oops, I guess it does matter a little bit if it's straight. I don't want to peek it. I don't want it peeking out on the bottom. So how about we just do it from this side? Makes it so much easier. And then we will take a card base. And I'm not, I'm not going to put this up on dimensionals, I don't think. Only because I've got dimensionals in the middle and I want to kind of, Keep it a low profile for the male. They'll appreciate it more, that's for sure. And there we go. All we have to do now is where is uh, add some bling. And this is the iridescent pastel gem gems, and one of the colors is Calypso Coral, which is what this cardstock is and what the ink is on the on one of the flowers. And so we're just going to take some of these gems. Let's see, let's, let's take this one and go right about there. And yes, I did play around with the placement of the gems before. Um, sometimes that's the hardest part. I mean, I could put, move that in there too, but I'm gonna go with one outside. And so then we would just finish the card and that's what we have. So, oh, wait. I said we were gonna do something else. Okay, remember Wink of Stella is an awesome, awesome tool because it adds some shimmer and shine. So I'm going to add that right here to my flower petals. And that's just gonna add a little bit of sparkle, just a little bit. Just gives it a little extra. Let me see. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell and see the shimmer. Let's see if we can pick some up. No, you can't really see it on the camera, but it does sparkle a little bit in person. So that is the card that I have for you tonight. Um, for those of you who want to or have a hard time going through the little catalog, maybe and seeing what's retired and what's not. I'm not gonna do it for the big catalog tonight, but I'm gonna do it for the mini catalog. So I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna go over to my Facebook channel or page and I'll, do a, I'll try to do a little live over there and walk you through what's staying, what's retiring, what's on really good deals. All right, so thank you. And if you can't jump on over there with me, you can watch it later or not at all. Hope you guys have a great weekend.